Hi, I'm Cindy Bauckham, and you're watching the Country Road TV Network, the best in legendary country and bluegrass music all in one place, countryroadtv.com. And I'm so honored to be speaking with this music legend who is being inducted into the Bluegrass Hall of Fame. Peter Rowan, how are you? I am fine, Cindy. It's so good to see you. It's always great to see you. You look so sharp. I'm, I'm so proud for this honor. You're so deserving to be recognized for all your years in music. How many artists can say they've worked with Bill Monroe and Jerry Garcia? Right. Uh, I've, I've been blessed in my life to have been a, a kind of a pilgrim. And uh, bluegrass has been my, my, my sail on my little boat. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure there are so many highlight moments. Could you just take us through maybe a couple of pivotal things as you look back at your career, but the cool thing is you're still going strong in music, and we love that. Thank you. Yeah, I, I really love to write songs, and uh, I've, I feel life itself is a huge inspiration with all its vast panoply of uh, <laughs> myriad uh, you know changes that the world is taking place and we do and you know in in terms of uh, the years i mean it, it it's i just found myself in places where for instance in jamaica and i'd be up on a top of a mountain in jamaica and these rastafarians would come up to me and they'd sing with me and then they'd take me to a rastafarian uh, get together and the only stringed instrument was a six-string banjo, you know. So, I mean, it goes back to ancient colonial times when the African instruments came over and, um, you know, the, the black folks uh, carried the banjo. And the banjo is so essential to bluegrass, right? You know, and then going back to Italy and playing in Italy where the mandolin is from and the violin. So, you know, I had to see where everything had come from. That was my my journey in this life. I wanted to see the origins. Yeah. yeah. Any idea how many countries around the world you have visited? How, how many countries has music taken you to? Uh, well, I mean, mostly Japan, India, Ireland, Italy, the British Isles, uh, and Spain, you know, and Spain, the home of the guitar, the, as we know it. And yeah, so all those places have figured into my music. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you have a great new project on Rebel Records from my mountain calling you and you had a lot of special guests joining you that I know we're all honored to be on there with you but what a great piece of work that is. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Cindy. Um, you know with uh, Billy Strings and Molly Tuttle joining up with me it just uh, it just raised my spirit so high and then of course the great band with Julian Pinelli and Max Wareham uh, Chris Henry and Eric Thorne on bass. And every time we play, we look at each other and go, yeah, it's coming together. It's coming together. <laughs> you know. Well, I love that even with all of your accolades and with, you know, these years of touring and performing and recording, you're still looking for inspiration and ways to make it better and ways to still be creative. And yeah. I love that. Well, I, I don't know any other way to survive, you know. I, I think it, it keeps one's spirit fresh, you know, and I encourage everybody to sing a song, you know, play a tune, you know, and share it. Well, we certainly want to thank Peter Rowan for all of the tunes he has sang and played and written for us. And a big congratulations on this honor going into the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame in 2022. Congratulations once again. Thank you, dear. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, folks. Thank you all very much. Peter Rowan here in Raleigh, North Carolina at IBMA World of Bluegrass.